guys go for broke. Being away from my dad was such a relief to all of us. Instead of it being somber, everyone was happy about it. And I remember being allowed to eat as many desserts as I wanted. And I would just take advantage of that and I would eat. And my mom wouldn't be crying. And my sister would be smiling eating too. So it was a peaceful time. So I kept getting a lot. And by the time I was 15, I was well over 400 pounds. And it got to a point there where I was so big, it was hard for me to do anything. So I dropped out of school and decided to get my GED, but kept gaining. And by the time I got my GED when I was 18, I was almost 500 pounds. And the dreams I had for the future were being crushed in my weight. I got to a point where I could hardly do anything anymore. So I had to move back home with my mom. And in this room, I have stayed. I don't go out and do anything or see anyone except online. I actually have been talking to someone online for the past year. Her name is Monica, but I've never been able to even meet her because I can't go out. And I've been scared to ask her to come here and see me like this. So I feel like I'm missing life completely and it's all because of food. I was messaging Monica and telling her I'm doing this move and leaving Ohio. And that I'm sad we have never been able to meet because I think I have a lot of feelings for her. And she told me that she does too. And she says she didn't want to lose me. But as we talked more, she told me she wants to go with me to Houston and help me do this. And that made my heart skip a beat. With all of us hoping to leave today, Monica is coming over with her stuff so we can meet for the first time and then go with me to Houston. But she was supposed to already be here. And the more I think about this, the more I get honestly pessimistic about how our first meeting is going to be. So this could be devastating to me because I think I have fallen in love with her talking online with her. So if this doesn't go well, it's going to be hard for me to take, especially on top of the stress of this whole move and going to Houston. <laughs> hey! Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I was so scared. Yeah. I, was, I was so worried you was not going to come. Yeah. What? <laughs> Love you. I'm not letting you go. Okay, you can sit down. You know this one. Have a seat. I was so worried. Yeah. I'm so happy you're here. I'm gonna be happy. Yeah. It's gonna be okay finally. Yeah. I'm very happy. I've been waiting to see him for so long, and when I finally walked in the door and saw him there, I was pretty nervous, but I'm also really excited and happy. His weight doesn't bother me. I want to be with him. I'm so happy right now. It's been over a year that we've been together without actually being together. And meeting Monica for the first time a day couldn't have gone better. It's just a fantastic feeling of finally be able to hold her. And having a person I love with me in my life to do this with makes a huge difference for me. So I feel like this just kind of affirms that this move and this whole change is the right thing. And that my life is going to start getting better now by doing this. Hey y'all, just like a little update. Been living life. Yo, just coming to visit me for the weekend. <laughs> Philip is this guy I started talking to on social media. He lives in Vegas. He actually came to meet me recently. Meeting Philip for first time. Um, I mean, it was great. We talked and held hands and just watched TV and got to know each other. I like everything about him. Like how he makes me feel. Like, he makes me happy. And I can honestly say this is happiness. I didn't really tell anybody that he was coming. Um, 
We had a great weekend, I mean, talking and hanging out. We all vibing, okay? <laughs> What's the status of your relationship? Are you allowed to see other people? No. Philip and I are together. That's my man. I'm his woman. I can see a long life with Philip. Even though we just met, it feels like I've known him for ever. Yes, he does have a persona on the internet, but it doesn't define who he is. And so he likes big girls. He's just a supporter. And he knows very well that I'm on a weight loss journey and he's okay with it. He's all for me losing weight and getting healthier. No, he don't want me to get under 300, and I'm fine with that. Can't wait to see him again. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.